नमस्कार मौसम स्टेशन के सभी दर्शकों को हमारा नमस्कार और अगले दो हफ्ते में किस तरीके का मौसम रहेगा उसके बारे में मौसम विभाग ने बाकायदा एक वीडियो जारी किया है कि किस तरीके का मौसम रहने जा रहा है क्योंकि सितंबर महीने की बात करें तो सितंबर में कहीं ना कहीं मानसून की वापसी शुरू हो जाती है ऐसे में आने वाले दिनों में किस तरीके का मौसम होगा उसके बारे में मौसम विभाग की फोरकास्ट देखिए और मौसम विभाग क्या कह रहा है उसको समझिए और ये जो मौसम विभाग के सीनियर साइंटिस्ट हैं उन्होंने इसके बारे में पूरी की पूरी हम कह सकते हैं फोरकास्ट जारी की है चलिए आपको हम दिखाते हैं कि आखिरकार मौसम विभाग क्या कह रहा है क्यों मौसम विभाग जो कह रहा है उसको सुनिए ध्यान दीजिए डियर फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग आई एम डॉक्टर आर के जनामणि वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर दिस वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन and during this uh, discussion we will discuss the significant weather for last one week till 24th august and the forecast for next two weeks friends during last one week the weather has been very severe and we have extremely heavy rainfall occurring over central india and one day over himachal and uttarakhand so mainly the active vigorous monsoon spell Uh, observed over central india as i was telling and extremely heavy rainfall spell occurred also this was mainly because a system emerged from the uh, south myanmar coast and it became a low pressure over northeast bay on 18th august and intensified into a deep depression and then into a deep depression and cross uh, uh, west bengal coast north odisha uh, close to diga on uh, 19th evening by 7:30 pm around and then uh, we came over uh, south jharkhand and uh, depression and right from south jharkhand uh, it moved up to east rajasthan and uh, depression across odisha chatisgarh madhya pradesh a long distance and for a long period 18 to 23 and when such a, an intense system moves it keeps the monsoon trough south of the normal position and it also cause very heavy to extremely heavy rain for and friends as you know that during the august this is the third depression moving actually if we see the earlier also two depression moved and as a result there were already the rain excess along the belt and the rivers were full so this week on by by 22nd or 23rd odisha had extremely heavy rain fall on 8th 21 august and like that day after day the as the system moved madhya pradesh got 20 uh, august to 23rd august and east rajasthan during 21 23 august all these dates are extremely heavy rainfall date over the respective states or meteorological subdivision and on the last stage of the depression uh, west rajasthan gujarat got and as a result as i was telling there was a huge flood uh, it was flash flood it was also river and flood worst affected were the odisha and then madhya pradesh also and bhopal reported uh extremely heavy rainfall scale on 21 to 23rd very heavy also occurred and then uh, or one severe flooding a severe urban flooding was there and like severe affected and uh, if we see the uttarakhand himachal pradesh on 19 night also got extremely heavy rainfall up to 200 to 330 uh, mm and as a result also that part reported uh, you know the uh, river and flooding and flash flood and also there are live livestock and if we see the forecast or outlook for next week now the depression has weakened and uh, already on 23rd and uh, today it is just a low pressure over uh, south pakistan so there is there, there has been significant rainfall reduction over central india and rajasthan and gujarat hardly any rain is occurring so if we see the forecast next two weeks the, the rainfall over northwest central india will continue to subdue that there is no system is forming and monsoon trough will move north and uh, disorganize so there is a chance that it will lead to the commencement of the withdrawal of southwest monsoon in the week to from northwest india however the northeast india and eastern india and bihar will continue to get heavy or very heavy rain for particularly northeast india in next three to four days and in the week two also part of this area will get the rain coming to the main system mainly the because we have earlier to this week during 18 to 23 the low pressure the earlier of which moved as a depression it's dominant became less marked over southeast south pakistan and then the phase low pressure when it form on 18 it became a depression on 19 and 19 evening it cross you can see uh, the the area or the uh, it was initially close to diga cross then it was uh, jamshedpur then umaria then 
near uh, Guna and in Kama Pukota. And uh, initially, the monsoon travel, uh, the first travel was the western end uh, toward the north or foothills. It came down as the depression moved. During second half, it was mostly south or uh, across the central India. Then towards the end of the week, that is from 22nd, we have space circulation forming over northeast way moving to Jharkhand. It also has given the rainfall. And then evil WD was there during 20 to 24. It has not caused much interaction. So northwest India got subdued rainfall, particularly Punjab, Haryana. Rajasthan, South Rajasthan got from the system actually. Coming to the track of the deep depression, one can see 19 morning it became a depression, it moved and cross the West Bengal, Odisha coast near Digha, and then moved, as I was telling, across Jharkhand, North Chhattisgarh, and uh, almost uh, uh, North MP uh, uh, through uh, like Umaria, and then uh, uh, something like Guna it reached, and then at Kota it dissipated. So if we see all along the track, this state has received very heavy rainfall. I will not read, but some of the value, if you see, like it start from 19, and 20 August, Digha uh, received 18 centimeter. Odisha, like Mogarai, got extremely heavy rain. 23, even Ramgarh, like Jharkhand, Jamshedpur, 14 centimeter. Next day, 21. This is Vanianga, uh, and then Ambodola, 10 centimeter over Odisha. West MP Chandari, 15 centimeter. East MP, uh, this, uh, this uh, Chando, the Chanodi, 17 centimeter. And if we add the system moves further west, northwestward along central India, so all these areas, East MP and West MP, they got extremely heavy rainfall almost both on 21, 22, and 22, 23. Then East Rajasthan also got on 21, 22, and 22, 23. And West Rajasthan start getting rain, heavy rain, very heavy rainfall on 22, 23. And if you see some of the value like Jayarapur on 23rd, like West Madhya Pradesh, uh, like Rakhogara, Chachoda, and Lateri. So more than 200 millimeter. On 24th, Gujarat region, Mysore got 20 centimeter. West Rajasthan, Jalora, Animal, 14 centimeter. And as I was, I was telling, on 19th night, there was a extremely heavy rainfall spell over Uttarakhand with Rishi case, 29 centimeter. Then uh, something like Himachal Pradesh getting the extremely heavy rainfall. Kangra Airport, 34.4 centimeter. Paramsala, 33. Mandi, uh, Joginder Nagar, 21. Bilaspur, Nagina, 18 centimeter. Coming to the rainfall during the week, if we take cumulative during 18 to 24 August, the northern India, the indo gangetic plains, continue to get efficient and scanty rainfall because the systems are moving along the central India, monsoon trap remaining south of the normal position. However, the central India got the normal to accept rainfall, except Satishgarh, some deficient, and parts of central peninsula, most part, got deficient scanty rainfall. If we see Total in the season, that is from 1 June till yesterday, 24 August, the picture is almost, uh, we can see large part of India getting excess or normal, except only around the six subdivision, that is Uttar Pradesh, East Uttar Pradesh and West Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Gangetan, West Bengal, and then in Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura getting deficient rainfall. So this remains the deficient well, as you know that this area is the main party or rice cultivation. So they have been affected actually. And if we see the region wise and all India, all India rainfall during the week managed to get normal because of the system. And we have 54.5 is the normal, we got 55 millimeter. And if you see season as a total, it is continued to be above normal plus 9%. Normal is 65 millimeter. And the actual was a uh, 65 centimeter and actually is 70.8 centimeter. And if we see region Northeast India or East and Eastern India, they got minus 29% in a week and continue to get near deficient. However, the other part, if we see like Central India and the South Peninsula, they got excess rainfall. There has been good rainfall distribution, North, Northwest India is normal. Coming to the prediction from our extended range, multimodal ensemble system, we can see actually the rain has been significantly likely to reduce in weekly week one over Rajasthan subdued rainfall. Week two also it is showing and further Northwest India it is spreading. And if we see the departure from normal, see main rainfall, some rain over South Peninsula and Northeast, large part of India is getting normal or below normal. And week two, we can see further, uh, further reduction of the rainfall, but Peninsular India Maharashtra likely to get rainfall. And if you see the synoptic system as it is on today, the cyclonic circulation of Jharkhand is there. It will move towards central parts of Africa and weaken by next three days. 
the wd will move away by tomorrow monsoon trap will also move northward because no more system is there they have bengal nothing is there and nothing likely to form also and a circulation is there over south tamil nadu to uh, interior tamil nadu south interior tamil nadu if you see the prediction because there is no major system only over jharkhand is there which will move to the central parts of up so heavy rainfall will just heavy rainfall over uttar pradesh and then uh, mainly over east mp and chatisgarh we have predicted and also northeast india we have predicted heavy rainfall lightning or thunderstorm but there is no orange warning only on 27th very heavy rainfall we have predicted as a meghalaya and arunachal pradesh last part of india is not having any severe weather warning coming to the week 2 it we see week 1 that will continue actually there will be no major heavy rainfall over plains of india except eastern and northeastern states and uh, coming to the week 2 as i was telling that we see subdued rainfall in week 2 will continue over uh northwest and central india and that's why we are predicting that condition are likely to become favorable for commencement of withdrawal of southwest monsoon from some parts of northwest india during the week two and uh, however some scattered to elevate spread rainfall likely over south peninsula east northeast india during more day of the week rainfall activity is likely to be below normal over northwest and central india as i was telling and rainfall activity is likely to be normal ever normal over south peninsula near normal over east and northeast india Uh, friends if we see the cyclogenesis part there is no chance of anything low pressure or depression form over north indian ocean both over bay of bengal and urban sea during next two week however some indication gfh is showing some cyclone circulation over southwest bay of uh, tamil nadu coast on 5th august and will move next uh, three days towards kerala coast so that we have to see and uh, friends that's all about uh, the 